So I have a request for help. And it's from the it's from a video I did on Gradient. It's the first video I did on Gradient, which this was before params had gradient things in it. So the the I don't speak French, so I have to take it upon Google Translate to tell me what it says. I did the same and it doesn't work. Can you help me? Yes. I said Yes, send me your SVG to me. And I know Mercy. Thank you. I know that. Um, but being that this, this, you're, um, this is actually doing it the hard way because we have easier ways to do it now. However, when I got your, your SVG, you're there. You, you've actually done it. You're just missing pretty much one step only and this is more than I could have asked for there's a there's actually a couple of different things that I'm gonna to to do with it so the the first thing um, if we go to extensions extension preview we're gonna see what you have so far and you're you're honestly you're like this close we're gonna fast forward this you have the top piece it's all one normal two top pieces then you're doing the bottom piece a different color slightly different color and that slightly different color actually is going to make it look better and then you have the two fills one on top of the other for the gradient the only thing you're missing is that gradient step so that is really really close i am going to assume that you're on the most recent ink stitch and if you are that makes this really easy if you're not maybe you should be but what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to select these two top pieces here which should be those two so you want them to be uh, thicker stitch at the top and and very thin stitch at the bottom. And what we're going to do, we can do the we can do both of these at the same time. Go to extensions, ink stitch params. And right here right here where it says end row spacing. That's just your magic box on this gradient fill. And for you're going to leave spacing between rows at 0.25, which is um, that's the distance between the threads at the start. If you want the end to be a different number, then you just change it right here. I'm going to set it to 2. I don't know what it needs to be. You'll have to do a couple of test stitchings to find out for sure. But this is what we look like. Now we're we're thick at the top of it and we're thin at the bottom of it, which I think is the right direction. Yes, that is the right direction. So this is exactly what we want. And I'm going to hit apply and quit. And then uh, now I'm going to hide those two so that I can select the next two, which is those two. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Params. And same number, two. Now in this one, you want it to be thick at the bottom and thin on top, which you already have. You have already done that. Angle line of stitches, 180 degrees. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Hit apply and quit. This is going to stitch out correct. I think. Oh, I've got to re reshow these two. Okay, so now we're going to go into visualize. Fast forward. And and my, my number might be too big. 
it depends a lot on what you're stitching this on and what kind of thread you're using. It depends on, on those things mostly. Just based on the preview, it looks pretty good. But yeah, I mean, you're, you're there. The only thing else that I would change is if you notice, I'm gonna go back into that preview. On the preview, you have brown, purple, I guess brown which is the same brown and then black the only thing i would do different is to is to select those two browns and move them closer to the other two browns which should be right there and it doesn't matter if it makes it below the other one because the effect is still going to be the same let's see if i did that right That's going to be less, and it depends too. Do you have a, I didn't do it right. Oh, yes, I did too. I've got brown, light purple, black. So yeah, I did do it right. And it's going to stitch out just like this. Excellent. And that's it. That's all it took. My recommendation, if you do need to tighten that stitch up a little bit, I'll tell you what my recommendation is. So I'm going to select both of these again. I'm pushing Control and Shift at the same time to multiple select these individually. I'm going to go back into params and stitch params. The start spacing between row, I'm going to set that to 0 0.2. It was 0.25. Now I've got it at 0 0.20, which is effectively 0 0.2. And I might set this a little bit higher. So we're going to go 1.75. Okay, let's see. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to have to do the same thing on the other two. Which should be, no, should be that one and that one. We're going to set that to the same number. Params. We're going to come in here, we're going to set that to 0.2, and we're going to set that to 1.75. And this is just absolute guess. Again, it depends on what you're stitching it on and what kind of thread you're using. So, do a couple of test stitch outs before you put it on your final product to see if, that's, if that was the right number or not. And we're going to take a look at it again. Simulator. When it gets to the gradient part, I'll slow it down. Well, I tried to. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, very thick at the, at the top, very thin at the bottom on both of those. Speed that back up a little bit. And then same thing on the, on the reverse. It's going very thin at the top, and then it's going to get thicker as it gets to the bottom. So you were you were that close, honestly. And the fact that you're watching an old video with uh, settings and params that weren't available to us when I did that video, kudos to you. You did great. You were you were that close. All right, speed this up and get it done. Oh yeah, and then the satin stitch around to make everything all nice and neat, get realistic. There's a lot of calculations going on to do this realistic. That's why it, even on my, I mean, my system's not great, but my system's not too shabby. And, and even on this, it's taken it a while. So there is the realistic finished simulator preview uh, I'm gonna send this back to you let me know how it goes 
and you know where the numbers are now to mess around with to make the changes that you need to make. Other than that, nice short video. I love it. I absolutely love it. When people tell me they watch my channel and they've learned something new, I love it. Thank you very much. Till next time, I'm out.